masses were flocking to Tahrir Square in Cairo again for what organizers billed as the last chance million man protest aimed at forcing Egypt's military council to cede control. They were not happy with the military's choice of an elderly Mubarak era man to head the next government. Regarding Dr. Kamal El Ganzuri forming a government, no, we want to see people representing the Egyptian revolution. We need people from our movement, from the square. El Ganzuri had served as prime minister in the late 1990s. In his first news conference since his fresh appointment, he looked uncomfortable but said the military has given him greater powers than his predecessor, who resigned when the recent wave of street protests intensified. The military do have some supporters. A few thousand flocked to a demonstration near the defense ministry. In front of a giant poster picturing members of the ruling Supreme Council, they chanted the generals should stay in power. The Obama administration doesn't agree. In a statement released Friday hardening its stance on the crisis, the White House urged the generals in charge in Egypt to transfer power to a civilian government immediately. That's a sentiment in line with the wishes of the tens of thousands still out demonstrating in Tahrir Square as dusk was falling. Karen Sloan, The Associated Press.